As a prisoner of the Lord, therefore I urge you to live a life worthy of the calling that you have received. Be humble and patient, be humble and gentle, be patient with one another, bearing with one another in love. My name is Victor Anjala and welcome to DCAKZ's Life Series. Dwight Eisenhower was the supreme commander of the European Allied Forces and it came a time where he needed a general for his army. So names were given to him of potential candidates, but one of the candidates stood out. This candidate went to Dwight himself uh, to tell him why he was interested in the position. So the candidate goes and says, uh, Sir, I am an amazing soldier. I have, I have over 20 years of combat experience. I can fly a plane. I can drive a tank, I can climb through, I can climb mountains, I can walk through deserts, I can swim across rivers, I can go days without sleep or food. What else could you be possibly looking for? Then Dwight listens to him closely and tells him, you see, I'm sorry, I'll not be able to take your application. Then the candidate goes like, why? Because he, 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 the candidate is the best fit, but Dwight tells him, you know what? Most of our soldiers are not, that ama are not amazing soldiers, they are just ordinary men. And these ordinary men will not need an amazing soldier to lead them. They will need somebody who will be able to understand and empathize with their shortcomings. And we'll, just to set the story of Dwight and Howard into perspective, we will read from the book of Hebrews chapter, chapter 2 verse 17 to 18. He says, Therefore in all things he had to be made like his brethren, that he might be a merciful and faithful high priest in things pertaining to God, to make propitiation for the sins of the people. For in that he himself has suffered, being tempted, he is also, ab he's also able to aid those who are tempted. Hebrews chapter 4 verse 15 to 16, the New King James Version again says, We do not have a high priest who cannot sympathize with our weaknesses, but was in all points tempted as we are, yet without sin. Let us therefore come boldly to the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help us in our time of need. And look what our Father does for us. He brings a person into this world who is not perfect. He's totally human like us. But look at what this person does. He's, he's tempted in every way just like we are. He's able to empathize with our shortcomings. And then this person becomes an example for us as believers that in whatever space that he was in he was not surrounded by people who are who had the same mindset like him he was not surrounded by people who had the same faith like him he was not surrounded by people who understood the word like him he was surrounded by ordinary men men who did not know what they were doing men sometimes who did not know what they wanted but what it, what does he do he's able to dispense grace to them even in that season. And that's what, that, that's what we are called to because our Father has given us a high priest who is familiar with our weaknesses. So we also ought to be gentle with one another. We also ought to be humble. We also ought to be patient with one another, bearing with one another in love. Baraka. <laughs>